So here we are going to see how we can delete a file. Now already we have seen creating, modifying, changing the location of the file, copying the file, but not the deletion. But if I want to delete a file, we have the command in Linux operating system that is your rm. rm means remove. So we can remove the file from the original location or if we are located somewhere else. So for that just we need to define the path of the destination location or the file location and we can delete the file. If I want to remove the file, we can remove in multiple ways. We can either give the command rm file name for deleting a specific file. If I want to delete multiple files at a time, we can also give the command rm and multiple file names. Same way if I want to delete all the files, like if you have 25, 30 files in the same location and you want to flush out all the files, you can go for rm and asterisk sign, where the asterisk sign act as your wildcard character, where it includes everything into that particular present directory. So you can delete all the files by using the rm command. Let us check into the terminal how we can use this command into the existing directory. So in ls we can check these are the files which I have created earlier into this uh, desktop and we can also see it graphically these are the files I have. Now what if I want to delete a file? So for that I'll just give the command rm, rm and the file name. For example data1, it is deleted, right? rm, if I want to delete multiple file, I can give the file name like file 1 and file 2. We can define multiple file name. So you can check it is again deleted. Same way if I want to delete a file or if I want to delete all files into this particular directory I can just give command rm and asterisk. So you can find all the file has been deleted. So this is how generally we delete a file into your Linux operating system either by using your one file if you want to delete use it you can use rm data one or any of the file name rm multiple file names and rm asterisk for deleting all the files so into next video we are going to check more about your linux file systems